when you slice into a mango and pull out the pit, you encounter a tough center. If you wash and crack it open, you'll find something interesting inside. Today, we're exploring the inside of a mango. To uncover the secrets of mangoes, I bought two from the local supermarket. Just a tip, it's a good idea to wear gloves when handling mangoes. Ever heard of lacquer rash? Lacquer has a component called urushiol, which can cause allergic reactions like skin irritation or dizziness when touched or eaten. Interestingly, our favorite mango is related to the lacquer plant and also has urushiol. Mangoes have a lot of urushiol near the skin and seeds. So if your lips swell and tingle when you bite into a mango, that's probably an allergic reaction to urushiol. The fruit's flesh has less urushiol, so it's usually not a big issue. But if you're highly allergic to lacquer, be cautious with mangoes. So, let's put on gloves and dissect the mango now. To eat a mango, slice around the tough center, using it as a guide, and then remove it. Another method is to cut the mango in half, twist, and pull out the hard center. It comes out easily this way. You can scoop out the flesh with a spoon. The other side can be separated easily by slicing it with a knife. This part is typically called the mango's seed. If you remove the flesh around it and wash it, it looks like this. After drying for a day or so, it shows stripes and has a bark-like texture. Surprisingly, these are not the actual mango seeds. The real seed from which sprouts grow is inside. The mango seed is encased in two layers, but what you see now is the outer seed coat, the outermost layer, and inside this is the actual seed. So if we cut it open with scissors, and take it out, ta-da! You can see the true mango seed. It's well known that there's something inside a mango, but you might not have known about the real seed. Interesting, isn't it? The seeds sit inside the outer seed coat, at a spot once connected to the seeds. This spot is called the ovule stalk, acting like an umbilical cord that delivers water and nutrients to the seed. The mango seed is wrapped in this brown membrane, the inner seed coat, one of the two layers protecting the seed. And this part is the endosperm, the nutrients the seed uses to sprout. When conditions are right, the mango seed uses the endosperm nutrients to sprout. You might wonder how seeds trapped in the hard outer seed coat germinate. In nature, when water hits the soil, the outer coat swells and opens letting the seeds sprout from the inner coat. Lastly, don't you think mangoes taste worse in the states than in their native places? This is because imported mangoes are often picked green and ripen during shipping with ethylene gas, lacking the juice and sugar of tree-ripened fruits, hence the taste difference. After the shoot, I ate the leftover mangoes. They were less flavorful than the local ones, but still tasty. This concludes our exploration of mango anatomy. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our channel. This was Fishy Science, unveiling the mysteries of science.